me as spiritual person since I was little I always appreciated uh, spirituality and I always uh, had these thoughts about this other life and what is beyond and that's why I studied metaphysics and I practiced so many things within the, um, the rules that I know and the rules which convinced me to go into it deeper and deeper because there are so many things in the world uh, spiritual they would call it spiritual but they're not so you have to be careful when you get into these things whenever you feel that your heart is telling you that this is not right don't let curiosity um, take you through a wrong path so for me the the, the right path into to go deeper into this uh, spiritual world was uh, God and I knew God from his book the Quran for me messengers and prophets are my mentors I read a lot about them because I know that they have knowledge and whatever they do as long as I'm positive that they did it then for me this is a light coming from God it's like when you go to a doctor and he would tell you because he knows what he's talking about he would tell you if he is a good doctor of course he would tell you that you take this medicine you don't eat this food you don't uh, do that thing for me spirituality is, is, is the same when it comes to prophets now the only thing I can trust is the Quran so I read and I follow they always say that there is this month in the whole year that it is blessed and the more you practice your prayers in that month the more you will get it will be like something special it's not because that the words of God the Quran came in Ramadan came down in Ramadan and it's but, but why even even before uh, Prophet Muhammad uh, والسلام, he gets the Quran and and, and he gets the uh, the message he used to stay there in, in in this cave and just meditate and look at the world in this specific month a scientist called Dr. Ibrahim Karim he's an Egyptian he studied in the States and um, he, he is a, a scientist in uh, learning how this energy works and he measured with machines of course the the energy of the words in the Quran and he, and he discovered that they, they have very high frequency when we pray we charge our body with very high frequency a good one they measured it with machines same goes with the sands in Mecca the best type of sand which can absorb radiations in the air so he was talking about the month of Ramadan and he measured the vibrations in the air and he said it was they were amazing they were really high frequency and that there is something different in the air I was always questioning why specifically in, in, in this month people they do more and more now some they know and some others they don't for me of course I always ask questions and I wanted, I wanted to know why <laughs> and since I knew this uh, knowledge from uh, this information from Dr. Ibrahim Karim I thought to myself why not practice more and more in this month and let's see what happens now it is something really private and I cannot be open about it what happened to, what happened to me I mean but, but, but what I can say is in the whole universe that is this special type of light in the month of Ramadan it's surrounding earth and it's full of good vibrations in the air you can feel it in the air it is holy 
and whatever you want to know about the universe and its spirituality you can find it maybe it can manifest in that month because of the high frequency we do more in the month of ramadan so we can be charged with the best of the best from the air now there is something really um, a way of praying which is i would call it's a way of praying which is uh, to keep silent. Keeping silent is something, it's something uh, like switching to the better. Ritually, you will be higher. The level of your uh, sp uh, spirituality will be higher. You will be very close to being wise. It will be close to wisdom. Your health will be better because you will be charged with positive vibes your views about life it will be larger like you will see in general instead of just looking at yourself so your problems won't be as big as you used to think or feel they will be much 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 smaller and the connection with god will be something extraordinary now in the Quran it says that there are two numbers were uh, said in the Quran about being silent. Once which is three nights, three days, three nights. And I, from my understanding it's because if someone wants something from God or you're in trouble and you need God to defend you, it's what happened to Virgin Mary when she came with Jesus and she kept silent because God actually ordered her to keep silent and then the baby talked Jesus talked and he said that he's a messenger from God and he defended his mom so when you keep silent and someone is accusing you of, of things bad things all what you need to do is just to keep silent and just leave it up to God to keep silent for three days this is minimum there was another case which is um, uh, Zechariah he wanted a child and he followed what Mary did he, he was the husband of her aunt he was her uncle and he used to go uh, where she used to be and pray so he thought to himself to follow and to do what Mary did. He, so he went to the same place and he started praying and asking God to get him a child. And he got a child. He got Yahya. And it was a miracle. And, he, and God asked him, you need to keep silent for three nights. So silence has its power. To keep silent is very powerful because you go to yourself, you go within you start to listen to answers to all your questions you start meditating differently you're with people I'm not saying that you separate yourself from people but you absorb and you witness and you meditate with good intentions around you and, and, and you just look at the whole universe in a different way It's a totally different experience, beautiful one. And a person needs discipline in your life. You need discipline in your life. And this discipline comes with, uh, I cannot say rules. It comes out of love. When you love, all, all the feelings you have are positive feelings. So when you keep silent and you stay with God, all the love in the world you will find within you. And you will find that you are disciplined without even doing any effort. It is definitely something special. The other number is one month to 40 days. Now, this is if you want to go deeper and you want to 
without separating yourself definitely what i'm saying is you're with people but you're just silent and you're absorbing it has this is a different stage if you want to challenge yourself you can do it if you like i went through it it was a challenge but it was so beautiful so it's Some people, they see this light, which is a different kind of light. Things manifest if you get, um, if you get closer to yourself, to God, things will start to manifest, all these spiritual things. That's why people, they see this light and it's a different kind of light. It's not the electricity light, nor the light of the sun is something special some people they say that it's something from heaven comes to them or different kind of light whatever happens to you it's something very private keep it private in order to get more of it because you don't want things like that to manifest to go and to brag about it it is so blessed and so important and precious that you don't want to go and spoil it and talking about it with people just to show that you reached that level. It is private. So keep it to yourself. You want to talk about it, talk about it with God, but not with people. Otherwise it will go away because it will not be pure. Ramadan is beautiful it's different and it's precious Ramadan Kareem